Hello YouTube. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. Welcome back if you're a returning viewer. In this video we're going to install the Grim Speed 3 port boost controller in the Evo. We'll have a link to what tools you need for that uh, as well as a few extra tips throughout. So not a lot to this one. So let's get to it. All right, so the first step of this process is unboxing it. So you get the thank you for choosing Grim Speed card. We've got a little uh, decal here for Grim Speed. Then the important part, we've got the actual Grim Speed boost controller. And they give us a fair amount of hose. So not a lot in the box. Uh, something else I picked up for this, which I'll have a link to down in the description, is the hose cutter. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, so now we're going to need to take out the boost controller mount down here. That's going to be two 10 mil bolts. One down here at the bottom, one up at the top. Then, all right, let's do that and I'll show you the next part. All right, with those front and back 10 mils out, next we're gonna take the 10 mil out of the brown connector. All right, so now we've got the brown one out here. So the next thing we need to do is take the hoses off of it. Got that clamp off. Is that one? And there's that one. All right, so now that we've got those off, now we'll squeeze the clamp here. Take that off. And now, You just put this one here on the back. Put the groom speed back on there like that. Get that tightened up here in a minute. And so now that's hooked up, get this snug down, then we'll show you how to hook these hoses up. The next thing you need to know here is that port one on this side goes to your air intake, port two over here goes to your waste gate and port three right here in the middle will go to your turbo intake so if you want to reuse the factory lines here you're going to hook up the non-clip line to one And the clip line on the two. Then you can mount it back in there after you slide this clip back down on it. I also want to note that if you are going to keep the factory hoses, uh, you'll notice now this is flipped around the opposite direction. Um, that allows you to have those on without kinking either of the lines. Just a little note. There it is. 
proof in the pudding no codes no check engine light all hooked up if you just want to use the factory lines that's it you're done so now we're going to go to installing the custom lines all right now if you're going to do the aftermarket hose install then you're going to need to disconnect the hoses from the black one here and you can take this whole hose harness out then we have the hose they provided plus the hose cutter and so once you've got all this pulled out we can remount this in here uh, the black one will get hooked back up and then your brown connector again will go back to the grim speed and as I mentioned before your number one port will go to your air intake your number two port will go to your waste gate and your number three port here in the middle will go to the turbo intake now let's see if I can get you a little better view of these this is the turbo intake see your wastegate and the little nipple there is the one for the wastegate and this right here is the one for the air intake now I will warn you you may have to reset the nipple for that one because when I pulled it, it came out, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't break anything. It's just a male-male uh, -male adapter. So you'll just pull that back out of here and then stick it back into your air intake. So now let's get to getting this back in with the aftermarket hosing. Right, so a note I want to put in here is, if you see this factory cut one's at an angle. So one of the things you want to make sure you do is... clip it so that it's straight if it's an angle it may not get a good clean fit all right back to it all right now we've got this loosely mounted so it can still move around now for running the air intake we want to put the hose onto the bung or nipple there and then we're just going to run it down to the nipple which is right behind here and then we'll cut it to length so one other side note is I'm going to take the clips off of the factory hoses and put those on here so we can use those to help make sure our aftermarket lines stay just as secure all right so we've got the intake line on we've got it going up and around so that it's not kinked and there it is hooked up to the intake next i'm going to run the wastegate line all right I've got the wastegate line on. Again, it goes up around and you can see it sort of right there all hooked up and a clamp on it too. All right, now to the turbo intake hose. All right, now we've got the inlet hose on there run that around and you see it hooked up to the turbo inlet right there now let's see if it's all running good there it is proof in the pudding no codes no check engine light all hooked up all right so this is the tools we used and what we had left over i uh, used my cobalt impact drill with the extension in the 10 mil 
to reach the 10 millimeter bolts that hold in the factory boost controllers. Then used a flathead screwdriver to help me get the clamps back onto the hose. Then used the pliers to help me squeeze some of the clamps that were a little harder to get. Uh, used the small flathead for helping to get the hose off of the hose bungs and use the hose cutter for be able to cut the hoses clean and this is how much we had left over from what came with the Grim Speed boost controller and there's the factory hose harness minus the clips I'll have links to all this down in the description well that's all we've got for this video if it helped you out Please feel free to hit the subscribe down there and don't forget to check out our latest videos over here and don't forget to hit the bell so that you can stay up to date on our latest videos and feel free to hit like and leave us a comment let us know what you thought of this video. Thank you. Have a great day.